Hello and uh, welcome again to Digital Design homework for this time. And the task was to simulate two 8 bit BCD integer adder. And yeah, in order to understand what I'm going through, is, is you could. Uh, you should um, understand how BCD integer adding works in uh, real life. So it's not that complicated. Um, I will explain it here, but not to its full extent. Yeah, this is the simple um, logic here. This is just the four four bit BCD integer adder, and if we just combine it with another exactly similar one makes it uh, 8 bits. So yeah, how this works is um, um, we can put numbers here, it makes it 9, but if we put it more here, it should like uh, have a carry bit. So like this, so it's 9 plus 9 is 18. And how this works is it has a uh, from the TTL, go to the bottom, and the third last one is a 4-bit binary full adder. And we are using two of these um, in order to get the logic right. So, uh, one thing um, I want you to know about this is um, you should put the internal structure in view, otherwise you have to go into each one and look at it like this, and it's really slow, so just internal structure on, yes, and it shows you which which ports have um, which inputs. So yeah, um, this looks a lot more complicated than it really is, so for some reason it has like the B3, A3, A4, B4, um, uh, like in here, like separate and, and not. I would like it to be like all B's here and all A's here, and then the sums comes out whatever from here. But this works. But there's a lot of wiring that needs to be done in order to make this work, and it doesn't look that pretty. But yeah. So we have the B, B3 plus A3 and we get the sum from here. So we have like, if we take a closer look at here, we have sum 1, sum 2, sum 3 and sum 4 and then we have the carry bit. And yeah, we use these sums and we um, how busy the integer adding works is if, if the sum here is more than um, 9, we need to add 6 to it uh, in order to turn it back down. Like, um, yeah, if you know what I mean, it's like we have to add 6 here in order to get this number. If we don't add 6 there, it's just 2. And, um, it, it likes make it makes it so that it loops around, and how we implement uh, adding of six here is to check if the initial sum goes over ten. So we have um, two AND gates and an OR gate, and uh, the OR gate makes it so that we can have the carry bit here also. So if there's a carry bit it's of course uh, over 10. And so we just, uh, in this logic we just ask uh, is the sum going over 10. So it's the, well I did this a little weirdly, I should probably fix this, but I have 0, 1, 2 and 3 and here we have 1, 2, 3 and 4. And I'm just I'm just used to counting from zero to to however many bits we're dealing with, so it might be a little um I don't know hard. I should 
probably fix this. But yeah, so we have the bit in position 3 and 1, uh, which makes it from here like 4 and 2, which makes up to 8 plus 2, which is 10, so it's exactly 10. And here we have 2 plus 3, which is 4 plus 8, which is 12. And the carry bit is 16. So we just add 6 here. And how we do that is we need another 4 bit full adder here. And we just um, connect the OR gate into B3 and B2, which makes up to exactly 6. And here we need from this one the sums. So we don't need a B1 or B4, we just need the 6 uh, to the B and the rest of them come from uh, the initial sum. So just put uh, 0 through 3 into, into their corresponding places. And after that we can use the splitter uh, which is needed for the hex digit uh, display because the bandwidth it needs is 4 bytes bits and uh, you cannot just put all of these there so we need a splitter to make it into one and uh, it recognizes how big the bits are here uh, going through so we just the sum 1, sum 2, sum 3, sum 4 connect it into here and it gives you the correct number after that and from here on out um, we need to also as this is the carry we need to move the carry to the next one and it connects into the um, 4 bit full adder and uh, it goes into the C in or carry input and it just makes it so that it's uh, the sum 1 is 1 so we can I can I can show you let's just put like this and it goes into the C input and the one is one even though here is nothing one so we can just copy paste this whole thing and put it here and uh, then you have a 8-bit PCD integer adder but you still I'm not sure it wasn't said in the in the task description that should I have the carry bit, bit uh, visible here but I just put it here and how I implemented that is I just put a ground here then uh, attached it to these uh, three one two and three so that they're always zero and if this OR gate is gives a one it means there's a carry and we should uh, put it here so some things I thought you should know about Logisim um, like modules or pieces I used. Um, this was the splitter and it's uh, just two. So we can change how many pins we have here from here and uh, then the bit width these two now doesn't do anything so we still have to the width and now you have from 0 to 3 and yeah that was also weird it's from 0 to 3 but this is from 1 to 4 but this is also from 1 to 4 so don't get confused when you're doing this also also the input output dip switch you can s switch from 8 to 4 so it's more simple and y it's more easier to portray binary numbers if there are only 4 bits as in our assignment you don't have to use the full 4 8 bit dip switch which would make it which would make it a little more complicated so yeah and the task was to add 99 plus 99 so let's switch this first to 9 and then we have the A1 as 9 and then we get 99 and then let's switch B0 to 9 which gives us 108 and then let's switch this to 9 and it makes 198 which 
which is correct. And then we should uh, add some other arbitrary number pair. So let's choose another number. Um, let's choose like, what should we choose? Um, let's tri try 80 plus 64. So we need this is this is 8 0 80 plus 6. Four. 144 that seems to be correct so I hope this cleared some things for you about using logism and how the BCD intruder adder works thank you so for watching